All right. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to really maximize the advantages of using the saber that you have over certain aircraft and how basically how you should be flying this thing. So I pulled off and got on this SU-7 because he's a really a pain to fight, especially late game. These things are just very, very, very annoying because they always run away. So I'm just putting shots, trying to get him to move and bleed speed, do things like that. Swept wing, and he has um, afterburners. So yeah. Luckily, it wasn't all in vain, though, because teammate put a missile on him. So now I'm going to be kind of splitting the fur ball if you will so i'm going into the rest of these enemies not before doing a stupid head-on with the mig i realized that and pulled off so i'm just looking around trying to get a feel for what's going on seeing if somebody's going to hop down and try to pounce me but that doesn't seem to be the case so i go for the little lone g91 i wasn't entirely sure what he's doing I didn't know if he was going to head on or not, but I decided to sh put some rounds down and pull off. Unfortunately, they missed. But now I see this other saber decide to pull back. And I'm not entirely sure who he's going after. So I'm ready to fly defensive, but it seems he's going after the A saber. And if he is, I have, um, I have confidence the A saber can reverse him, so I kind of leave him to that. Now, this G91 is still the closest target to me. So I decide it's time to pull up and go to him. There's nobody else around to really uh, soil my plans of taking this G91 out. I'm trying to bleed a little bit of speed so I can kind of stay on his tail. I should have pulled harder right there and I probably could have got a decent shot, but I pull away and off of him. Luckily in time, because that Sabre decided to turn around and uh, chase a teammate. That's cool. Turning, when you turn, make sure you have your nose down to the ground. You'll be able to um, retain a lot more of your speed and in some cases turn faster because this plane is as good at turning at high speeds. Actually, really damn good at turning at high speeds. So I see the T2. I thought he was going to run in front of me, but I guess he saw me. Unfortunate. So I pulled away from him. G91's pulling too. Um, right now I'm deciding to keep speed, see how much speed I can get back. Nobody's after me right now. So I decide that I'm going to pull back and try to help out a little bit. So that F saber is coming for me right now. I need to identify what he is. He's an F 40. Good. Now I want to remember that because that's good knowledge to know. Keep that for later. KI decides to go head on. I decide to fake the head on because he has better maneuverability than me. But he decides to pull off and I ended up getting him right there. He's on fire. He's gone. I decided to pull for this MiG because this MiG is going very slow. But unfortunately, the T2 wasn't going to have it. So I pulled back into him to make a harder shot. He pulls off and I pull back into the MiG. Because the MiG is now pulling away. And MIG is gone, and so is that KI. Now that Saber is pulling down behind me, so I, I dove so I can get as much speed as possible. He had to pull a 180 turn, so he bled a lot of speed, but that T2 is not going to let up. Got afterburners, he's supersonic, and it's going to be more of a pain in the ass to deal with him, especially with a Saber on me. One that can turn better than I can. So I finally decided to go defensive to see if I can get these guys to slow down. And hopefully my teammates can come help. Because it's easier for them to take shots on slower targets. Now, I pull up and over. That way, whenever if he decides to come for me, he has to pull a 180 degree turn. Now, I said keep in mind that he's an F40. He has leading edge slats. So that means anytime he pulls turns, he's bleeding a lot more speed just in order to get his nose down uh, quicker than mine. So T2 lets loose a missile. 
I decide to fully commit to going defensive again. T2 lines up, but I do some weird shit, and it actually ends up working. And I pull straight into the other saber, and that forces him to miss again. Again, I, I pull a 180 degree turn, so this guy, anytime he decides to get back on my tail, and I start burning him. Because he lost a lot of speed doing a 180 degree turn like that. So now, he decides to pull off. I think. No, he decides to come back in. But then he decides to go help his teammate from the A4B. A4B. A4B is doing his thing. The T2 goes back behind. And I finally get a good shot on him because he's going slower. I pull up. I'm watching the T2 very closely because I'm vulnerable right here. He pulled close... He pulled closer than me right there, so that was really, really, really dangerous, but it ended up working. <clears throat> T2 is doing his own thing. He flies off because he's super fast. He's a speedy boy. And now we're pulling up to the other Saber, who is now very slow from turning. He gets critted. So now I'm using gravity to retain my energy. My energy retention is better than his because he has slats. And after a lot of terrible shooting, lots of terrible shooting right there, I finally get him down. And it looks like one of my teammates took down the T2. 